Time billionaire investor Lee Cooperman has now declined an invitation from Senator Elizabeth Warren to testify next week before a Senate subcommittee on her ultra millionaire uh, tax act. Uh, joining us right now to discuss the government's attempt to tax the wealthy, we've got Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary, and he's also, of course, the chairman of OShares ETFs and a CNBC contributor, also former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick. He's also the co chair of American Bridge 21st Century, the largest Democratic PAC. Good morning uh, to both of you. Uh, Kevin, I, I want to start with you because we've had lots of conversations over the years about uh, raising taxes on, on the wealthy and whatnot. And the, the, where I want to start the conversation is this. Um, how do you feel about not necessarily raising rates per se, but raising effective, ta effective tax rates? Because part mm -hmm. of the issue that's, happened, that, that's taken place in this country is that that the wealthiest in this country are not paying nearly the same kind of effective tax rates as the, as the quote unquote rate card. And I sometimes worry that we've, we've got into this sort of battle over what the actual number is, but we're not really even talking about the real numbers. Uh, the problem is, Andrew, um, you have to ask what issue are we trying to solve? You may argue that the wealthy don't pay enough tax, but the wealthy create all the jobs in America. So let's, you know, I, I mean no disrespect toward leadership at all. I'm a pragmatic investor, entrepreneur. I support companies that create jobs. Let's look at how many jobs Jeff Bezos has created in the last 20 years versus, let's say, Elizabeth Warren. How many jobs has she created? Basically, she should be creating policy that creates jobs. And I would argue that that policy does exactly the opposite. How many jobs has Bill Gates created? How many jobs have giant entrepreneurs that have been successful created in America? A majority of the jobs. And we need those people. We don't want them going anywhere else. The fact is that any time you try and create friction and do something that would cause them to look elsewhere to employ their capital, that's a huge mistake. And then you haven't even touched on the philanthropic endeavors, including Cooperman, that have given collectively billions of dollars back into society. Why do you want to punish our entrepreneurs. Where is this coming from at a time when we have 9 million people unemployed? We want to covet every entrepreneur and try to get them to start a company and not penalize them for, for being successful. What country would do that? It's not America. America doesn't do that. It's the promise of America that attracts all that capital. So these ideas are bad ideas, not constructive. Dubai. And they destroy job creation. Uh, you're on the so other side of this one. Well, I think, first of all, um, I thought your question um, was right where we ought to be. We have a, uh, you know, there's some serious issues. I'm going to put aside the Elizabeth Warren, uh, Lee Cooperman sideshow, because I think that's what it is. But there's some serious issues and some serious opportunities here. The, the, we all suffer from talking about taxes as if it's some penalty or reward. Taxes are the price we pay for the civilization we want. And so rarely do we start with what it is we want. The opportunity here is to ask ourselves what kinds of investments in ourselves should we be making in order to create the kind of expanding economy that reaches everybody out to the middle and the marginalized and not just up to the well-connected. On the wealth tax, I am not a supporter. I don't think the problem is wealth. I think the problem is greed. It's the hoarding of, uh, of the benefits. And so the idea seems to me uh, that we ought to be talking about is how do we get effective rates, uh, effective payments up so that we meet our needs, starting with what are our needs? Infrastructure, broadly defined, how we reinvest in ourselves, education, enormously important health care, the kinds of things that the public invests in that creates a platform for private investment and personal ambition. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.